Hello everybody, this is Dan Miller for Bluegrass Unlimited Magazine and today I've got my good friend Tim May here with me. Uh, Tim and Alan Mundy were here this past weekend and we had a great workshop and concert with these guys and Alan Mundy is getting ready to be inducted into the Bluegrass Music Hall of Fame in a couple weeks. It's mid-September right now and 2024 and at the end of this month Alan's going to be inducted as one of the new inductees in the Bluegrass Music Hall of Fame and at the award show the inductees uh, get to get up and play a tune for the folks that are there and Alan's going to play one of his most famous original instrumentals called Peaches and Cream and Tim and Alan played that tune this past weekend and it's a great song and I thought it would be interesting for um, folks that play guitar to be able to learn how to play that tune for you, you get together with your banjo playing friends and if they know the tune that way um, you guys could pick it together. And it just so happens that several years ago, Tim May did this book called Alan Mundy Banjo Tunes Arranged for Guitar. So this has got a whole series of uh, Alan's original tunes uh, that Tim arranged for the guitar. And uh, this is available at flatpick.com if you're interested in it. It's got a wide range of uh, Alan Mundy selections. You can look at the song list on the website. And so uh, Tim's going to play Peaches and Cream and we'll put the tab from this book uh, on the website so that you can uh, work through it. And Tim will play it relatively like the tab. Yeah. Maybe not exactly, no, but it'll, it'll be the tab. It'll just be a little, I'll do it a little slower just to really, not for you, for me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So anyway, here for you guitar players that might want to learn how to play Alan Mundy's tune, Peaches and Cream. Here's Tim May. exactly uh, the way he played it on the banjo. I tried to make that work exactly the same way on guitar. Uh, sometimes it would work and uh, usually the only time it wouldn't is when you have a, a banjo roll that kind of keeps going that on guitar would just would not be, it tend to get lost. I mean if you, you just sort of arpeggiated those three notes the way a banjo does. So that's about the only time I really altered anything very much. Um, uh, but this tune, uh, the biggest hurdle for guitar players is to play that sort of role. And so uh, I kind of go back and forth. Most of the time on this tune, um, I'm going to play an alternating forward roll. So if you had strings three, uh, two, one, um, I'm going to play the way George Shuffler played down, down, up. That's the way I. I, I, like I said, I sort of go back and forth between that and the other option, which would be to alternate. So you'd play down, up, down, up, down, up, down, right? So you're either alternating or you're playing the sort of shuffler way of two downs in a row. Down, down, up, down, down, up, or alternating down, up, down, up, down, up, down, like that. Uh, this tune, uh, it starts on... So it starts on a quarter note there, and then the roll starts. Right, so the example I just gave when I just played the tune, I was alternating it. So, you know, if I'm playing it a little more up to speed, uh, I usually will alternate. If I'm going for just strictly tone, usually I'll, I'll do the shuffler roll, and I can't play the, most people can't play the, the shuffler roll as fast. I guess some people do, but um, Clarence White played it pretty fast. but. Uh, so those are the two options. Other than that, I don't think you'd have any problem with it. It's pretty straightforward. It's a beautiful tune. Um, got some interesting chords, and basically what you do is you just roll through them. You got an F, you got an F minor, but you don't. We're not doing anything crazy other than just rolling over the uh, chord. So give it a shot. Enjoy.
peaches and cream. <laughs>